I'll show you how to set up and use OpenColor.io with Affinity Photo. Support is included for both version 2 and version 1 of OCIO, and I'll be using a version 2 configuration for this video. I've loaded this OpenEXR document here, which has been saved out of Blender. Currently, with no OpenColor.io configuration set up, this document view will be managed with ICC Profile Color Management. If I go to Window, 32-bit Preview, I can confirm this. OCIO Display Transform is currently greyed out, as I don't have a configuration active, so I'll set one up now. To do this, I'll go to the Settings dialog. On macOS, you'll find this on the App Title menu, and on Windows, you'll find it on the Edit menu. On the Color category, I'll choose Select under the Open Color I.O. Configuration File option, and I'll navigate to where the config.ocio file is stored. Because my 3D render here was created and rendered with Blender, I've extracted the configuration files from Blender 4.0, which includes a new AGX view transform, as well as several wider color space device transforms, such as Display P3 and Rec 2020. I'll choose the config.ocio file and click Open. Now on macOS, you will need to perform an additional step because of file system sandboxing, which is to choose the second Select button here and simply click OK. This will give Affinity Photo permission to access any supporting files for the configuration, such as LUTs. Windows users don't have to do this, so you won't see an additional button here. Now when I go to close the Settings dialog, I'm prompted to restart the app, which I will choose to do. Then I will reopen that OpenEXR file. Now I'll see a notification in the top right telling me the document color space has been converted from default to scene linear. This color space conversion is dependent on what is defined in the configuration file. OCIO version 2 makes use of file rules to determine input color spaces, but some configurations may not use this. Instead, they should always at least define a default role. In the Blender configuration, this is Linear Rec 709, which is Blender's default internal color space. So the color space of this EXR document has now been converted from Linear Rec 709 to Scene Linear, which is correct. On the 32-bit preview panel, I can now use the OCIO Display Transform options down here. On the left, we have the View Transforms. And on the right, we have the Device Transforms. I can switch the view transform to AGX, for example, and the document view will now update to reflect this combination of device and view transform. Then I could switch to the diagnostic false color view, and then perhaps filmic log. Now let's look at the device transform list. OCIO is a different system compared to ICC color management. Whereas ICC will color manage based on a document to display profile conversion, with OCIO the onus is on the user to calibrate their display according to the color space they wish to work in. For example, if you have a display calibrated to Rec 2020, you would choose Rec 2020 from the device transform list. Or if you have an Apple display, these are typically calibrated to P3. So you would choose Display P3 then switch to the appropriate view transform. If you wish to preview in sRGB on a monitor capable of wider color gamuts, you should find a way to restrict the monitor's color space to sRGB, which can sometimes be done within the monitor settings. If you don't do this, the document view will look incorrect since sRGB color values will be sent to the display but not converted based on the display's wider color capability. Affinity Photo also includes an OCIO adjustment layer, and I'll show you how you would use this with another example. On this wider view of the same scene, I'll change my view transform to AGX. Then I'll go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, OCIO. This adjustment allows you to transform between different color spaces that are defined in the configuration. For example, I may choose to go from Linear Rec 709 to sRGB, 
which makes the image look very washed out. What I'll now do is place a lens flare overlay PNG file that is in the sRGB color space, position it in the image, and set its blend mode to add. Now, I'll add another OCIO adjustment layer and go from sRGB back to Linear Rec 709. This is essentially what the OCIO adjustment is for. When you are compositing multiple images on top of your base image, they may be in different color spaces. To ensure correct blending, you can move to the Placed Images color space underneath the image layer, then above it, move back to your initial color space. If I hide these two OCIO adjustment layers, you will see what happens when this lens flare is blended in without moving to its gamma-corrected sRGB color space and back again. The result is duller and less impactful. Finally, the OCIO adjustment can also be used to bake in the OCIO view transforms if you wish to export to a gamma-encoded format that uses ICC color management. This OCIO display transform is a non-destructive preview, as are the two preview sliders for exposure and gamma here so they do not affect the document color values at all. Typically, you would use file export and go back to an EXR file, which can then be imported into another application for further compositing. However, if Affinity Photo is the final destination and you then want to share your work as a JPEG or TIFF, for example, you will want to switch your color management to ICC Display Transform. At this point, you lose the OCIO view transform and now color management is being performed by the document profile, which is linear sRGB that goes through a non-linear gamma conversion for the final view on screen. To get that AGX look back, I'll need to use two OCIO adjustments to simulate the view and device transforms. For my first OCIO adjustment, I'll go from linear rec 709 to AGX base sRGB or you could use a wider color space if required. Now for my second OCIO adjustment, I'll go from sRGB, which is the gamma corrected color space, back to linear rec 709. This counteracts the nonlinear gamma correction that occurs when using ICC display transform. Now I'll be able to go to file export, Choose a gamma encoded format like JPEG, and my exported result will have the desired AGX view transform. And there we go a look at setting up OpenColor IO within Affinity Photo and how to use its accompanying OCIO adjustment layer. Thank you for watching.